Greetings. I'm sorry the camera's jumping. <laughs> so this is going to be a um, general reading and I felt led to do a reading of what is it that maybe you might not be seeing like the ink like the other side of things. Maybe it just is a need of shift of perspective um, in a situation and um, I'm going to use the cosmic insight cards. They're kind of centered around love. They're kind of messy. Like they got some shadow cards in this deck. I was like shocked at some of the cards that was coming out. So yeah, so we're going to use um, this deck and the new vision tarot just to see like what um, perspectives and I'm going to hold off on the Oracle and I'm going to do the tarot first actually. Holy Spirit. What may be something that the collective of those who are meant to see this message, this video, whenever, see this message. What is the perspective? Whoa. Okay, that card flew out. Six of Cups. What is something? What is something, Holy Spirit, that they may, may not be seeing? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. For some of them getting a reason why someone could not commit to you or commit to either a commitment with you or just getting to know you for some of you. So you have the Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. I feel like what's going on behind the scenes like this is a situation I feel like it's in the past getting like this person could be a fire sign or younger than you for some of you immature someone that you really can't pin down someone that still feels like they have a lot of exploring more living to do before they commit to someone or they feel like there's something about their journey. There's something that they feel like within themselves they have not figured out yet. About their path, their journey. This person could be um, like the, the company they keep or the circle of friends that they have in their life or someone that they're close to or maybe a few people they're close to might have a lot of drama. It might be people that are combative kind of like low let like low vibe type of vibe like low vibrational type of people um maybe even a little bit violent or has like uh, kind of a, a bad past or history or these are people that are still caught up in like bad things or they're bad influences on this person for some or they might have in the past kind of lived like a very toxic lifestyle, very fast life, very dangerous life. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's like this person's upbringing has a lot to do with why they're not able to commit as well. You guys could have trauma bonded. Your childhoods could be very similar. You guys could have had absent parents or Parents that might have been in the house with you, but were absent maybe emotionally. So that emotional fulfillment that you really desired as a child or you may, you know, genuinely need it. Um, you seek that out in partners. I feel like both of you may have something similar or in common with that. Some of you guys could be single mothers, single fathers. Getting specifically a single mother and this person could have considered that as well you know their life and their age or their maturity level this person may feel that some of you guys are very protective of your children you guys might have a son some of you guys may have like a small child um and may and may have a older child and a small child but I'm I'm saying like part of it was something to do with childhood as well. So if you're not a single parent, it's definitely something with their childhood. You could have been very protective of this person. You may have wanted to nurture their inner child, whether you realize it or not, or you felt some empathy because you understand where they're coming from. Maybe very protective. For others of you, um, maybe a parent did not approve of this person 
or this could be divine spirit or your ancestors do not really approve of this person. I'm not really seeing so much so that they're a bad person to the core, but it's the life or the path that they're on that your spiritual team does not like. This person is trying to find their purpose or their path right now. This person is guarded mentally. They, they kind of protect their thoughts and their feelings. They don't share those things. They're very guarded. But this person could come across as someone that is confident. They could be someone that's very attractive, you know, dress well. Um, they might drive a Mustang or have some type of sports car, like a, uh, yeah, like a fast car, sports car, motorcycle. And I get like this person still being led by their, their toxic, e like their ego. Like if this is a male this person is still led by like the fact that they have a, you know, male part that they feel like that makes them a man. So they might still kind of be on sexual conquest to kind of feed that toxic masculinity um, for power and control. Or if they're a woman, they could be um, very masculine, very controlling, um, very domineering. Um, I don't catch feelings type thing. Like it's, it's not a healthy energy. There's a need for balance. Your spiritual team can see that this person would bring conflict to your life. And it has everything to do with their upbringing. I'm getting, what is the energy? I feel like this person gets warnings and they could be a bit stubborn. Like this person needs to be very careful because spirit warns this person about maybe their surroundings or who they're around, like the people that they surround themselves with yeah see you have opened your heart commitment and let go so yeah this person didn't have the ability to open themselves up to love it says it will help you attract more love to so open your heart so this person they're not in the space to really receive a healthy loving relationship or attract it because their heart is not open and if this applies to you as well then you know you can take it if it resonates where you feel like maybe let me fix this where maybe you might need to let more love into your life and then you have commitment things are getting serious so yeah like this person could go soon as they feel like things are starting to warm up or get a little deeper especially when it gets to like more of a sentimental energy or where you guys are starting to get a more um get more emotionally intimate with each other or maybe even intellectually or spiritually intimate where you might start to go into deep topics or you might start to share your feelings or your emotions this person may ghost you or run because they don't really know how to handle that this person does not deal with their own emotions well so you have let go make room for the new beginnings on its way to you now so some of you guys you may still be kind of holding on to this in some way whether it's um hurt whether it's confusion whether it's she still may want to make space for this person i don't feel like this person is ready for what you're ready for it's very clear that this person's not in that space they don't hold um the ability you have the eight of cups in reverse and the seven of pentacles is also in reverse the fool is also beneath the eight of cups in reverse well the fool is upright the eight of cups is in reverse this person during New Year's could have made a declaration to walk away from something um, that they might have been struggling with within themselves or depression or maybe this person is deciding that they're going to move or travel or just I'm just going to go wherever I feel led to go or to live or just travel and visit places and not hold myself back. This is a single person. They may not have any children for some of you or they're just someone that's very um they're like a lone wolf or a loner type this person does need to be careful because i do see potential something like a warning ahead for this person because if they're not moving in the direction that they're truly divinely guided to go in and they're in that impulsive state or they may sabotage things like spirit is i feel like giving this person a warning about something the seven of pentacles in reverse yeah like you need to wait there's an angel or some type of spirit or something 
Like they're being warned to be patient and wait. Like this person's impulsive. This person, does, they're not centered. They're not centered with themselves. They're not centered in their spirit. They kind of lack discipline as well to some degree or there's something that they want to invest in or the timing of it could be off. This person may want to just something with Aquarius season that they might want to like take on or do or jump into when spirit is actually saying that it might be something that they need to wait. Timing wise, maybe Taurus season or maybe fall, but this person is like, they're being warned. I don't know why I'm getting this. Let me, uh, let me use, let me see. I'm going to use my own deck. What is this? What is the warning spirit? Because I feel this strongly. There's like three cards that I'm picking this energy up. Their shadow. They got to balance their energy. Yeah. They're still operating the Judas. Hmm. It's people that they are connected to. And then ironically, the three of cups is at the bottom of the deck. They're connected to some people or a person that does not have their best intentions with the Judas divine provision like spirit is giving them what they need or giving them the truth or the insight and i feel like there is a part of this person that may want to really walk in their light their divinity or their truth or what brings them joy but they have a side to them that they have not released and let go of there's a need for balance i keep getting that like your spiritual team knows that this person is not in a, a balanced place with themselves and like i said if you guys have children your spiritual team your angels your ancestors god essentially or maybe even family that know about the situation this person they see that this person is no good for the best interest of children or a child like the type of life that they live or just a lack of peace maybe if you're single with no children you're just it's just you the lack of peace that this person will bring into your life and the trouble or you know just the drama because i feel like this person is still attached to drama this person could even have a little bit of a drinking problem maybe a smoking problem or just kind of attached to the wrong lifestyle i keep getting that in the people the company that they keep is not it's, it's not healthy you know, and I feel like these are people that can bring them down. So, <sighs> mm. I'm going to pull and see what the advice is. The divine women, divine guidance. Guardian. Yep. Your spiritual team is saying you've kind of been blinded by this person. This love spell card says you've been bewitched. This person, you might have kind of glamorized this person a little bit. Just tried to see the best in them because I feel like you see their inner child. You see that part of yourself that identifies with them. But there's things about this person that is a little messy. The guardian, a lost loved one watches over you. Yep, you have an ancestor that's watching. This is confirmation, y'all. If y'all want to book me for a reading, I will be um, getting back to personal readings starting Monday on January the 9th. Um, if you're watching this around that time frame, Divine Insights for 2023 are also available on my website if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, feel free to like it. Share it with someone you feel like this may resonate or benefit. Subscribe if you have yet to, if you like my vibe, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Have a safe weekend. Peace.